All right, this is a review of a cam pump. It's model 1506.5A or 2108.17439. So when you open it, you're pretty much gonna get this. Your detergent hose, extra washers, the cap, the breather cap to replace this, an Allen screw for the pump, for the crankshaft, little warning, don't run without oil, extremely important, manual, quality sticker, and then the unloader assembly. So what's cool on this unit is, one, it's pre-filled with oil, so that's one of the reasons why this is in here tight. I loosened this up already, so I can just switch it right out, because I'm gonna install this in the next few minutes. So it's pre-filled with oil. These caps are here. I'm gonna take them out. It's just so dirt doesn't get in there. The cool thing is you can put an external unloader on here. So this unit bolts up like this, works fine as the unloader, but you can actually put an external one with say a loop. So that way you get additional cooling for the pump head or you could have it go to a tank if you wanted. All right, so I installed the unloader, so this unit's ready to be installed. We've got oil, we checked that location. We'll check it when we're done though. This is the oil cap, not the shipping cap, and the unloader's bolted on. So we should be good to put this on and give it a try. I'm putting this on a Honda GC190. I took off a lower end AR, AR branded pump, and so let's, uh, let's get this on. It's on a Honda GC190 motor. But you can put it on anything, and here's what I want to show, and it can replace anything. So you can put this on a Honda GX200. It would work on this motor. You could put it on a Subaru motor. This is a Subaru SP210. Doesn't matter. These are all pressure washers, and this pump could fit any of them. So it could replace this cat pump. It did replace this AR pump, because I wanted a higher quality pump on this unit with better specs. And it could replace this style of AR pump, which is also a higher end one. But this is a really affordable choice. I'm pretty happy with it. So it's got a brass manifold. It's got a crank um, crankshaft style with pistons. You know, the, the casing to the pump body, all aluminum, like a lot of them are, a lot of cooling fins. So you can actually see how much space there is for cooling. It's got an unloader that you can take this unloader off and put an external unloader, so that's pretty nice. It includes uh, extra extra O-rings for the valves, and the valves are very uh, reasonable to replace. So if you've ever replaced like a cat pump or an AR, those are a lot more money. These are pretty reasonable. I'm not going to give prices because prices are always changing, and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I can't complain. It's 3,000 PSI, 3.1 gallons per minute, so over 9,000 cleaning units. And then it's got a giant, giant uh, bubble for, to view the oil level. So it's, it's really nice. Make sure you size your orifices. So if you look up a, a chart, you're gonna want about a 0.35 orifice to run this. Of course, you, know, you can change that depending on what you want, or if you're adjusting the unloader for changing the pressure. I, I don't do that, I just change the orifice size. So I'm actually gonna run this with like a 0.35 or a 4.0 and use this probably for washing my car. Uh, just small jobs around the house. I, you know, I like to buy these and play around with them. So that's it. So this is the review. I'd recommend it. So if you want, look, I got AR pump like this is about 150 bucks. This is only a little bit more, it's a lot better unit. Cat pump like that is probably around 400 and the parts are really expensive. And this AR pump is around, it's over 300. So with the external unloader and the valves, that one's about 400. So for about half the price, you're getting an excellent unit and I'd highly recommend it. Thanks a lot.